uh, by definition, Islam is the complete way of life, yeah? Uh, is there any teachings in Islam that talk about social capital? And what is success in Islam? And who is that successful person? So someone needs to know a successful person, then social capital in the Islamic perspective. Yes, it's true. The Quran speaks about it in various ways. They, it's, there's, uh, personally, I haven't come across any straight um, verse that mentions the word social capital. But from what is given, you pick from that context. Uh, starting with the Quran, yeah? Quran really defines success in a very, very different dimension. It also gives different examples of being successful, which are far different from the ones we know here on Dunya. For instance, um, in fact, by statistics, 12 verses in the Quran keep mentioning or defining who that successful person is. A case in a point is the, in Surah Bakr, uh, that is chapter 2, verse 5. A successful person is defined as that person who follows Allah's guidance. Yet in our day-to-day lives, yeah, we look at success as people who have um, many cars, you have the latest phone, you, the structures. We look at assets, material, material things. But the Quran goes on to describe or define who a successful person is in Surah Al-Imran. That is uh, chapter 3, verse 104. As that person who enjoins others to do good and also refrains others from, from going astray. When we look at also Surah Al-Araf, chapter 7, verse 8, it goes on to describe that successful person as the person whose weighing scale on Akhir will be overweighed with good deeds. You know? Are you feeling the definitions? Are you seeing any cars there, latest phones? <laughs> In fact, when we go ahead to look at Surah uh, Hashir, yeah? Verse 9, yes. A successful person is defined as that person with the contentment of the soul. Not even the heart, but the soul. So as we go on and on to see the, the, the verses cited in the Quran, that's when we have like really to sit back, relate, weigh, evaluate, configure, where do I fall? Am I that person who is contented by soul? Am I that person who enjoins people to do good? Or oh, I'm the one who is there like to mislead others? So even looking at the teachings of the prophet, um, there's one book called the Book of the Faith. Muslims stated under Hadith 145, he reported that the prophet described a successful person as that person who is unique. So the Sahabas went on to ask him, Rasulullah, what do you mean by a unique person? The answer is very amazing. He said that unique people are those who strive like to stay strong in their religion or to keep on the straight path amidst the challenging environment, environment of too many activities going on which are anti-Islam or which are against our faith, but someone holds like so it, you, know, you, you become resilient. You're like, you know what? In Rasul's definition, Muslim tells us that the, the successful person is that kind of person. So this is like a food for thought for all of us. As, as we yearn for the latest phones, in fact, in Surat al-Adiyat, uh, the Quran defines our success, that success here is too materialistic. Whether to work for the dunya or for the akhirah. So as we build our social capital, we have to put all those things in mind. In the group joining, to, to drive into the straight path. Because they are looking at the contentment of the soul. Are we those people who are happy with us when we progress? Are we those people who are sad, like when, who cry with us? Or we are the people who are happy when we are down? Yeah? 
So the Quran, it will be Who are the successful people?